Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and I'm here today with John Walden from Queen Anne's County Public Library, and we're here to talk about a really exciting event that's coming up, celebration, I should say. It's the 25th anniversary of the Ken Allen Stevensville Public Library. It's actually been 25 years ago. Um, so welcome, John. How are you? Thank you, Debbie. I'm doing well. Thank you. So tell us a little bit. It, it is the 25th anniversary, and you guys have some stuff planned to kick that off. Yeah, we thought it was a, a, a big event for us to, uh, <laughs> you know, I've only been in the county for two years, but I know that, uh, you know, that branch being built 25 years right. ago had a big impact on the community down there. Uh, when I was doing the research and found out about the anniversary, I realized that uh, before that, the library had the bookmobile, and it, it visited Ken Island on, I think, Wednesday and Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, we've come a long way. And, With how busy you are down right, there now. And, and actually, the branch is now the busiest of the two um, libraries. Wow. It does about 55% of our um, wow. yearly circulation, so it is a very busy branch down there, and so it's proven to be a, a very worthwhile um, building to have put there 25 Good years ago. Good place to have it. Yes. So to celebrate this anniversary, you're having two events. And the first, let's talk about the one for the adults um, right. on Friday. Right. Uh, my board and I discussed um, what we'd like to do, and we came up with two events. And so on Friday evening, we wanted to um, do a little bit more of an adult-oriented party and have a little bit and uh, invite some uh, people that were involved. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to be sending out invitations very soon. Uh, so if there's anybody out there in TV land that uh, was involved, you'll be getting you need, a you need to get in touch. You'll be getting a letter, uh, a postcard from us, inviting you to come and and just try to get people. We're going to have some storyboards up and oh, nice. try to get people to reminisce. And we're going to have some wine and cheese. It's a free event, open to the public. Anybody that wants to come, and we'll have a tent tent out there, and oh, we'll wow. probably have just a very uh, small ceremony. Okay. A couple minutes, um, you know, somebody, a couple people might just get up and talk about right. the impact. But uh, so it'll just be a very relaxed evening and just invite people out to come out. And, and you know, and, and part of the event, too, is that we're going to have people come in and share if they want a library story um, oh. about the branch. And that's something we're going to have in the library starting next week, that if people want to come in and fill out this little form and whatever, we're going we're okay. to try to make a... A present, oh, you know, that's really interesting. To have stuff on about people's personal stories or relationships with they've had with the library over time. You could put together years. like a scrapbook or exactly, something like that. Exactly. That's so what you'll we're have to it. Do. That's mm -hmm. excellent. Okay, so that's Friday, September fifth. So then on Saturday, September sixth, you're having a whole family event. Yes, it's a family event, and I'm we're calling it the birthday party. Okay. Um, we thought that was an easy way like to say that. it. That on Saturday <laughs> it's the birthday party. Makes sense. Uh, it does, and so we want that to be very kid oriented. And so we've lined up a lot of activities. We're still lining up activities, but we're going to have face painting, a petting oh, zoo. Wow. Uh, we're going to have a, a puppet story time. Okay. Um, we're going to have other activities. So we're going to just have a lot of fun stuff for kids. It's going to be from ten to two on Saturday. Okay. Um, families can just drop in whether they want to drop in for an hour, hour and a half. Um, we're going to have some light fare foods available free for people okay. uh, to have a little bite to eat while they're there. And we're hoping to have a birthday cake as well. Oh, wow. Um, to sort of celebrate. You so we just want to, wanted, have cake. yeah, we want to have cake. It's a birthday party. <laughs> so we just want people to come out and hopefully, uh, you know, talk about, spend some time with the kids and just enjoy the fact that we've had a library there for 25 awesome. years. Awesome. And um, you sent me some pictures and some slides and some articles, which we have in our PowerPoint here that people can pull up charting the history. Yeah, we found a uh, scrapbook down at the branch. Okay. Um, and so a lot of the stuff that you have in your, um, on the slides here are, are from, that, from that scrapbook, talked about the building of the branch. Um, and it, it took a while. I, I did the research, and it looked like back in 1979 is when they first did a survey. Really? Asking residents and down in that, that part long. of the county to, you know, would they like a, a branch or how they would they like to be serviced for a library down there? And um, and then it took uh, 1985. The county purchased uh, the present site uh, okay. for the library, and then it took another four years to get a building actually okay. up. So it yeah, it took about 10 years from. I can't even from imagine start to a bookmobile going down there with even then you had a lot of population in that yeah, area. Yeah, so. and, it, and it was expected that the population was going to grow in that part of the county. Right. Which, um, I don't have population statistics for that part, but I'm imagining it's it's grown significantly yeah. as well as the rest of the county. So. Well, that that's wonderful. And um, so again, that's Friday, September fifth is the wine and cheese party right, anniversary party anniversary party and then that's for the adults and then saturday is the birthday party birthday party 10 and, to 2 right, and, and that's, that's the whole family right, we want can the whole come family, to that we want the kids to come and 
and celebrate with us and have a great time. And then um, I know we've had you here a couple times now. Well, we've had you here before, and we've had a couple of your staff here talking yeah. about your summer programs. Yeah. And I just wanted to give you a chance to talk about the, you know, fill us in on how your summer programs went. Well, I don't have that off the top of my head, so I'm going to have to look at my <laughs> sheet of paper right. and we put my glasses cheat. on. So. <laughs> Uh, we had a great summer reading program this year. Uh, we uh, started in uh, late June, I right. think, when school gets out. So I think it runs for about five weeks. And um, we held 94 programs between the two branches. Get out of here. Uh, and we had a record attendance and sign-ups this year. Uh, we had 1,546 children sign up. Uh, last year it was about 1,200, so right. it was a nice, a nice jump this year. Uh, and we actually break it up into three groups. So uh, I think one of the groups that people probably don't think is important for summer reading is our birth to four group. Uh, we had 409 children sign up for that group. Really? Yeah. And, th and that's an important age group because that's when you that's, get them hooked. Yeah, yeah. And that you know, <laughs> all the brain studies and a lot of stuff right. out there now is the birth to five is like the critical time period for for kids and learning to read and and really getting engaged right. in reading. That's a critical. So you know, us working on that age group. That's incredible. And so we've seen some growth there. Uh, we saw 818 kids in the five to the 10, uh, you know, your elementary age kids. Uh, and then we've seen some growth, uh, growth again this year in our um, young adult uh, Which teens. to me, I would think that's another hard one to get kids yeah. in because they've got so many other things yeah. than go to the library. But yeah. obviously you're doing something You'd be something surprised. Right. I mean, we get a lot of, uh, you know, I think for teens, it's that, that couple of months where those teens that are avid readers or even not are, avid readers, it's a time where they can come in and read something that's not school related that's necessarily. True. It's you know, it's read for pleasure time. <laughs> right. And so you'd be amazed at how many kids come in and, and pick out a you know, bring a stack of books and they just look forward to sitting down and that's know, doing incredible. Their, doing their summer reading and, and we had some great prizes this year too, I think that was an incentive. Well, that <laughs> we helps. gave away two um, iPad nanos. Well, that's right. For the for the teams, that was the grand prize, and there were some other gift cards and stuff. So a little incentive helped. So any any hints on? Can you give us any hints on what's coming up in the fall or the winter? Uh, fall or winter? Uh, I'm putting you on the spot yeah, here. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, we're gonna you know we're gonna continue. Uh, we're we're we've hired a new position at the library, uh, a technology librarian. Okay. That's going to start uh, sometime in October, and oh, so wow. we're really going to uh, do more of a focus on doing more computer training workshops and stuff That's for the wonderful. public, getting people um, comfortable with technology and e-readers and, and right. all that type of stuff. So that's something that. Well, uh, it's going to take place in October. That's so. huge. Yeah, it is. It's a big deal to you know get uh, the person. It's one person, and it's going to be split between the two branches. Mm -hmm. So we'll be offering technology classes and how tos and stuff to the public um, starting this fall. So yeah, that's wonderful. That's a bit, and I think one of the other things that we're we're hoping to work on is to um, some improvements to our catalog. Um, and where you can log into your account, uh, we're trying to add a uh, online payment. Oh. System. So if you had some fines on you your account, pay them right you, can, there you could pay them online. You don't have to come in and, and do it in person. You can do it from the comfort of home. Nice. Uh, so we're adding that, and we're also hoping to add a um, an on order module. So books that are on order can be seen in our catalog, which we don't have now. Oh. So if you're wondering if we've ordered that, right. You know that new bestseller. You can go on. The record will be in our, in, in our system, hopefully a month or two ahead of time, and. So you can be able to put that's a nice, place a hold it, on right, a, on a book. Right, that's what I was just thinking. Then you know it's coming, and you, know you can get coming. your name on the list. Right, and it helps us because we have a, sometimes have a difficult time determining how many books to order, what's right. going to be in high demand. So now if you if, get if, thirty people we, instantly, exactly, you know you're going to need more right, than one gonna, copy. Right, and so we can add extra copies and try to meet demand that way. So those are some things. So very we're, nice. We're working on a lot of stuff. Well, that was good since I put you on the spot. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> not bad, right? Huh? <laughs> but so again, September fifth and September sixth for the 25th anniversary celebration yes. of the Ken Allen slash Stevensville Library. Yes, and we're hoping people will turn out and, and have some fun with us. And if anybody needs more information, we have your website up on the screen yes. there and a phone number. So thank you so much for coming in. Hey, Deb. Thank you. It's always fun. You're welcome.